All right, folks, so here we are the following morning. I uh, just want to give a little update on the uh, well. As I mentioned in my previous video, this is a three head well. All the holes uh, here in Southwest Florida um, normally run irrigation or um, other types of purpose use, I guess, uh, right about 25 feet because we run the wells or we pump the wells with surface pumps. One horsepower is more than adequate. Uh, Pentair makes a really good pump. It's oh, they OEM it from uh, a lot of different sources actually. So you got Berkeley, you got Stay Right, Gould, there's probably a couple of others. But what I wanted to do was post up a quick video that just shows basically where we're at in terms of the amount of water in the hole. Keep in mind that all of the holes are 25 feet. I think um, I actually took them to 26 feet, but uh, what you're seeing are the one and a quarter inch uh, sand points. They're actually suspended. So, but anyway, uh, here we are, and the amount of water that is in each of the holes is right at 17 feet, 8 inches, 17 feet, 8 inches, right to that mark, so 17 feet, 8 inches. So with a 5-foot well point... That should be plenty of water to use for what I need it for. So, just so you know, putting one of these in is a lot of work. Uh, you can see my other video in terms of the type of equipment that uh, you know you put together for something like this. Uh, I figure total cost right around 1,200 bucks plus a day of my labor in order to get the three holes in the ground. So that does include the uh, one horsepower uh, Stay Right Pentair pump and uh, I'm getting ready to go to Home Depot to get the rest of the one and a quarter inch that I'm going to need in order to make the connection. So anyway, just an update. Uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, or question below and be sure to monitor this video's comments and try to respond accordingly.